This one's going to be on JTB Downloader. So we've been talking about RTMP links and how you would get them. Well, this one's more specifically towards um, Justin TV and Twitch TV, which I believe they're the same companies. Just that one is for uh, gameplays and the other one's for, you know, general um, entertainment stuff. So let's open this here. This time is a GUI program instead of the command line programs we've been used to. So this one is written in Qt, really easy to use. If you were to like uh, try to get the you know the links for Justin TV and stuff like that uh, manually yourself, it it'll be a lot of work. But some people you know they create a program for this and it makes it really easy because all you have to do is type in their username and it does all the work for you. Okay, so basically how this will work is you type in their username. Now if that channel has a password, then uh, you type in the password too. So, for example, we'll do Justin TV first, okay? And we'll do uh, what was that? We'll look at some channels here. Let's say international news or something. Uh, maybe not. Let's just go to news. So, okay, let's say this one here, and what is this one here? Okay, we'll copy the name here, All right? Copy that sucker. And basically. We don't need this sucker no more. Anyway. Close that one. So just copy the name, and then we're gonna paste it in here, right? And then you hit uh, this search thing here. Basically, that's it. it. It finds the stream. Now, if there's only one stream, that's all it has. Sometimes they have like different streams, like um, maybe uh, what's that, 240p or something like that. So if they have different ones and you want to select that, um, then you can do that. But this one only has one. And if you want to watch it, you just hit the, um, what is that, watch stream here. And it opens it with your player that you assign it to. And there you go, you can watch it with your M player. Let me uh, close this here. Uh, so that's how it works, you know, really easy to use. If you want to use a different player, like uh, VLC or something, then you change it to VLC, right? And then you hit watch. And now it uses uh, VLC. Get the idea. Now they do have what is the other ones here? Uh, you don't need that. Well, if you want to output the file, you can do it from here, right? If you want to save it to uh, you know an FLV file, then you just give it a name and the location you want it to go to. Um, that's pretty much it for the program. They give you the command line here if you want to use the command line, but you know this is the program that does that. If you want to do this from the command line, I just show you this here. Copy this sucker, and let's close it down here. Basically, if you want to run this, RTMP dump, and just paste in uh, what we just copy, right? And if you want to use um, M player, you just pipe it, and then we type in M player, and a dash at the end. Basically, uh, it will accomplish the same things, just that you don't need to that program anymore. The thing with Justin TV or Twitch TV is that they use tokens. So this one does expire if you if you use these commands. So that's why the program here uh, is more suited for you know these two sites. So we did one for Justin TV. If you want to do this for um, what is the other one? Twitch TV. Um, this one's more more for gameplays, like I said before. So what is here? We just click one here. And if you want to watch it, just click on one of these names here. And then we'll copy the, the username. That's all you got to know. Copy that sucker. We'll pause this one. And all you got to do is paste that name in there and do it again. Now, like this one, it says seven streams here. So you can choose from uh, different streams that uh, it provides, like iPhone. They have a live uh, 720p and all that. So just choose one that you like, right? And then you can just hit... Uh, watch stream and then open with your player and there you go you don't you, you don't have to use the site you can close your web browser if you want uh, so that's it for this program pretty cool um, you know one thing I don't like about this one is that they don't have a command line options also but uh, there's actually another program that's more for command line users but if you want to use the GUI this is the simplest Although it only works with two sites, maybe they'll have more in the future, who knows. But uh, that's it for this one, okay. Links in the description.